Well, on this episode of Gideon's Tactical, Andrew eats a carrot. Nate eats with a spoon. See that the spoon is basically useless, okay? <laughs> and I make a weird noise. Well, here we are again. Thank you for coming out and joining us. I am your host, Aaron, here today at Gideon's Tactical. And uh, we're gonna be looking at a USA-made, budget-friendly Est Wings Full Tang Axe. Uh, we've done a few recently, you know, and I've been trying to, to discover more options out there for us, and I've been wanting to just use axes more, see their potential. And so this is the 16-inch Camper's S-Wing Axe. So let's go ahead and run in some beautiful blade footage of us using this Camper's Axe. We've trekked this up uh, about two miles, you know, into the woods and uh, have had a chance to really use this thing on two different uh, excursions and see how it performs. So let's go ahead and jump to it and see what this axe can do and if it is going to be the right tool for you the next time you go out in the woods. added bonus is that you can pick these up oftentimes at a lot of different hardware stores. So if you're in a pinch and you need an ax, you can swing by Home Depot. I see these at a lot. I believe Lowe's has them. Uh, and you can find them in a lot of different hardware uh, departments at, you know, like general stores and that type of thing. So that's really cool that if you're in a pinch, you need to purchase these. But uh, I picked this up on Amazon. I paid 40 bucks for it. So we'll have links in the description below. So if uh, after this video, if you see value in what we discuss and its options and capability, if you guys use those hyperlinks, it really helps me out. Uh, it gets me out here by you know, geared just like what you see here in this video today. So I can give you guys full, honest, comprehensive videos that you guys can help decide whether or not these things that we test out and review on a regular basis are gonna be worth your hard earned money. So I appreciate it when you guys use those hyperlinks that we offer to you when possible. And if you're new to the channel, I'd ask you to consider making Gideon's Tactical part of your regular YouTube experience. We throw up two to three videos every single week, giving you guys full, honest, comprehensive videos to help you stay equipped and stay prepared for whatever life throws your way. So I'd ask you, if you enjoy this video, to consider subscribing and becoming part of the GT family. We were really impressed actually with what you can pick up at a hardware store or for $40 in a USA made full tang, you know, design. Now some basic specs for you. This is going to come in at, I believe, and I'm going to run in the exact, but I know it's over two pounds. I believe it's like two and a half pounds. So, I mean, this is a heavy, you know, 16 inch ax. Uh, it's going to come in at just about 18 inches overall from the top of the head to the bottom of the handles uh, and 16 inches up to where the head begins. Uh, this is made uh, in the U.S. again out of 1055 steel, and you'll find that on a lot of budget-friendly axes and tomahawks, but most of them are around the $40 price point, and they're made in Asia. So it's cool to see a U.S. company being able to do that as well. Now, what I really like is that it has a nice thin head into that hammer in the back, so you're still able to get splitting, but it actually penetrates and takes out bigger chunks of wood than some of my larger, thicker headed axes like from Husqvarna and things like that. So I, I was really impressed with how deep it went in uh, and just the, the convex grinding that they're doing. Now, the, it, it is a budget friendly item. The thing that I noticed was they only ground it down on the blade about three fourths and there's about an inch right here where my thumb is that is not even ground in at all. There, there's like, it's kind of sharp, but there's no bevel or anything like that. So I wasn't super happy about that. I mean, it's an easy fix, it's 1055 steel, it's pretty easy to work with. Um, but that was something, you know, there's just some fit, fit and finish kind of things like that. And then down here near the neck where the handle starts to flare out, you can kind of tell how it one is a little bit of a narrower, um, 
uh, swell and the other one is a little bit more abrupt. Again, not a huge deal, but you know, it's just fit and finish stuff that you'll, you'll see when you buy one of these. And then uh, full tang, obviously, and you have that rubberized handle that really helps with like the shock that you're gonna be having while you're swinging this thing. This thing stays in your hand really well. I really like that. It never you know, wants to go flying out, not only just with the contouring and just a really nice, I mean, you can dual wield this thing with two hands and the good lanyard you know, system that you can do. Uh, so when it comes to like strength, it was really impressive. I really like the strength and you know, having a full tang option, that you never have to worry about heads falling off or friction heads, you know, where you're constantly pounding them down and different things like that. There's, there's benefit to that, which I, I'm really impressed with. So I dig that a lot. And the edge retention has been actually really impressive. It has held up better than many other axes in this price range that we've tested out and reviewed. Uh, I'm only seeing very slight burring now after two times out in the field having done a lot of chopping and a lot of splitting with it uh, and that's really impressive and i can easily tune this up with a ceramic rod even and go right back to work so uh, really happy with it not seeing any rolling or chunking out of the head versus like other tools that are out there i'm thinking i've seen some shreds you know that we've reviewed that are like three cr13 steel that just totally chunk out and roll out by this time and takes a lot of work to get back you know get get those big chunks and rolls you know taken out so Good, good edge retention for the price point, I believe. Um, you know, the weight I think is probably for me the biggest drawback because you're having weight going through the entire tool because it's full tang versus you know head heavy handle is lighter. So it it, it is a powerhouse, and as you have seen, just totally chunks out pieces of wood. So we're really happy about that. But it is um, somewhat fatiguing your your uh, your arm faster than say a, a steel head and then a wooded handled ax. That's that's the difference that I see there. It is somewhat more fatiguing, but that's that trade-off with the price point and then the full tang construction option for it. But for this size of ax being definitely still packable, but on the heavier and bigger side, definitely more for like maybe a, a log cabin, you know, car camping, um, trailers, you know, if you have like a, a pull, pull behind you trailer, or RV, you know, that type of stuff. I think this would be fantastic. Help you split wood really easy, chop down some trees if you're in a, an area where they let you do that. Uh, and I think for the price, if you're looking for a non-wood handled head, you know, mounted ax, I think this is definitely worth looking into and is not, you know, huge, massive ax, but it's still manageable in its size. And giving you kind of that blend of both tools. So uh, they do also have like another blacked out version. Uh, it comes with a nice blue nylon sheath. Uh, which is very decent, holds on very well, and is going to protect the blade very nicely. So I'm very impressed with that option as well. But yeah, just really happy with the purchase for the price. Um, you know, yes, if you want to spend $100, you're absolutely going to get more performance out of, say, um, like a Grand Forest Brooks or something like that in this size range. But for what you get, I think you're actually getting a lot of performance with the tool. So thank you so much for coming over here today, guys. I hope this video has helped you out. Please subscribe, comment, like, share this video, uh, answer any questions that you guys have. In in the comments below and uh, check us out on all the relevant social media that's a great way to see what's up and coming things we're working on projects we're, we're going after and finally guys always remember stay equipped stay prepared and we'll see you out there